Good afternoon from Mountain Patriot Homestead. Join us in the kitchen while we cook up a pot of soup beans. I've been having a hankering for some soup beans or 15 bean soup or whatever you happen to call it. And I had some leftover ham, so I've been boiling that ham down until it just practically fell off the bone and I got every bit of goodness out of the bones that I could. Little tip that I use is I add just a dab of vinegar to pull some extra calcium out of the bones so it enriches your broth a little bit. And here I'm just getting the last little bit off the bone before I share the, the bones with our dogs who are going to be very happy. Now this is a pack of 15 bean soup that I just got in. I'm just gonna cut it open and dig out the seasoning pack so I can then clean these beans good, make sure there's no stray rocks or anything like that in it. And just, you know, easy enough, however you do it. You may do it in a bowl or the sink or whatever. I just use my little strainer here and rinse them really good and pick through, make sure there's no weird things in there. You know, so every once in a while you might find a stalk or a stray rock or some kind of bean that doesn't look really good. And so just go through, make sure everything's good and then they will be ready to go. But just a little extra time here, but you know, you don't wanna put anything odd in the pot. All right, I've got the broth and the ham on the stove and I'm going to start adding some, um, just things there, you know, there's the seasoning pack, but I like seasoning up my own stuff as well. I just dropped in a couple of bay leaves. Uh, this is some cow horn pepper that I grew and dehydrated, and it's a hot pepper, and I just love the flavor of it. Uh, if you don't like any of this type of stuff, you don't have to put it in yours. You, it's your kitchen, you do you, boo. So, uh, just some dehydrated celery I'd grown and stuck in the dehydrator. I use a lot of my dehydrated things in soups and that sort of thing that's going to be cooking for a long time just so they can cook up well. Uh, these are some bell peppers that I dehydrated, just dropping in, not measuring anything. I just kind of eyeball what I got. Uh, these are some dehydrated tomatoes, uh, different types of tomatoes. Uh, so you can see some are red and some are a little darker, but they're wonderful, got a wonderful, rich flavor. And so I just add them into the pot and they will cook up with everything else. This is some uh, garlic cloves that I had dehydrated and I'm using up my last little bit of dehydrated garlic, but I love garlic. So <laughs> again, you put in what you like in yours. If you don't like it, leave it out. Uh, this is just some pink Himalayan salt that I like to cook with and this looks like a lot of salt if you don't use much salt adjust it how you like it but I know beans soak up a lot of salt so I use a little bit more in that and this is a jar of onions that I had canned I grow my own onions as well and so just to kind of put them by I do can up some so they're good to use and soups or even into um, um, gravies and things is good. So now I'm just adding this bean mixture all in there after they've gotten rinsed and drained a little bit. Uh, some people soak their beans overnight. Um, I usually do not. Now I will cook a lot of time. Well, as a matter of fact, I will do that with these beans. I will cook them let them set overnight, cool down in the refrigerator, and then warm them back up, cook them a little longer the next day. Just, I don't know, kind of thickens up the soup a little bit in it, which I like. And uh, as they cook, you know, you just see, it's uh, kind of getting after it here. And 
I cut it off a little bit, but I just cook mine until everything, until the beans are all good and soft. Got a side here of hoe cakes. It's just a, a southern cornmeal fried piece of bread, and that's what I like to side mine with. Have a little bonus footage here for you. Here's our newest member of the family. We brought him home today. His name is Babel, and he is a nine-week-old Nigerian dwarf buckling. Got blue eyes, so he's just a new member. 